Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. So today's video is going to be a casual vlog, like a weekend day in the life vlog, except it's spanning a couple different days because sometimes it's a little hard to film all in one day with Christian and dependent on his moods. But so today I'm taking you back to the weekend, showing you some of what we did over Saturday and Sunday. Today's Monday and I'm about to head to a coffee shop and get some work done actually, but I wanted to film this intro first before I did so. I am super excited excited for today's vlog because it's actually a collab with one of my favorite YouTube mamas out there. Her name is Brianna Kay. You guys have probably heard of her because she's awesome, but if you haven't heard of her, definitely go check out her channel. She's doing a day in the life video today as well. She actually puts them out once a week and then she also puts out tons of cleaning content and like motivational content. She is just like seriously mom goals, you guys. She actually lives in Cleveland, which is so cool for me because that's where I'm from. So some of you guys know that's like where my heart lies so I'm always so inspired by like the fall things she's doing and she's just so festive she is way more like fall ready than I am you'll see in this vlog us like trying to get in the fall spirit and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't out here in California but she is just like on it she's always putting out different resources for her viewers but then also like connecting you guys so building a lot of community I just love her I can't get enough of her stuff she has the most beautiful family so she has a little boy and a a little girl they're a little bit older than Christian um, but their names are Landon and Presley and they are seriously adorable I'm telling you guys she is where I hope to be in a couple years like have the family and the beautiful house and all of that so seriously go check out her channel like I said tons of motivation if you're looking for a boss mom to follow you need that cleaning motivation you need that like get up and go spirit and positivity she is your girl to give it to you guys so I'll have her video linked down in the description as well as her channel be sure to check her out and then you can find her on instagram at bits of brie as well too i love her instagram it's like so festive and so cute and then if you're new to my channel and you came over here from brianna's channel or from anywhere else then welcome my name's olivia i do videos on motherhood and lifestyle mostly motherhood if i'm being real but i also try and work in lifestyle I love fashion and style, so I love to do content like that as well. Um, I'm expecting baby number two, so I'm currently 14 weeks along with my second baby, a second boy. I have a 17-month-old named Christian, and now we're having another boy in April. So we will have two boys under two, only for a month there, but still, our life is about to get a whole lot wilder. We'll also be moving. I haven't told you guys this before, but um, some people have been asking if Christian and the new baby will be sharing a room or in separate rooms we're still figuring that out because we'll actually be moving when our lease is up so I'll have some content coming out for that and like lots of home decor once we get a new place that's a little more set up for it so I'm super excited I know this is kind of a long intro but just wanted to introduce you guys to Brie and then also say welcome to anybody who's new thank you guys so much for watching now let's jump into the weekend vlog Here's our outfit of the days. I tried to clean my mirror for you guys today, but it's got like fresh streaks. I was doing it a little bit in a hurry. Here's, look at his cute outfit. You are so stylish. So I have on a fitted dress from Amazon. I will link it down below. These are the days of either wearing sweatpants all day long or wearing these fitted dresses because I'm not quite in maternity jeans or anything like that just yet. Here's a little view of my bump. So I've got this fitted dress on from Amazon. Are you, we're going. And then I have this shaggy cardigan, which reminds me of Alexis from Schitt's Creek, if you watch that show. And platform Converse with my freshly picked diaper bag. And then this is Christian's outfit, even though he's hiding in the corner, cause he's ready to go to the store. Yeah. I'm following you, let's go. Ah! Uh. So today is Saturday. We are in the car. I feel like all my vlogs kind of start off in the car, but sometimes that is the only place where I can get a moment of quiet. <laughs> but we are in the car. We are about to. Mama, mama. <laughs> my point exactly. Yeah, Bubba, I'm up here. But we are about to head to the store. Um, Christian just woke up from a nap a little bit ago and so we decided to take advantage of the weekend and actually get out of the house. <laughs> His naps are like right in the middle of the day right now. He always naps from 11.45 or 11.30 till 1.30 or so. 
And for some reason, he naps so good at daycare. And then when it comes time to taking a nap on the weekend with us, he like seriously struggles with it. Part of me is like, are they making up his nap times? <laughs> but obviously I trust them. I'm sure he's actually sleeping. But yeah, I think he just struggles to nap with us sometimes because it's like, not the norm for him and at this point he's also going through his last leap so my calendar has notified me that he's going through leap 10 right now which i think is definitely on track because he's clearly going through a growth spurt he's been super cranky the last couple weeks but actually this last week i think he's been better but um yeah the nap thing has just been a little bit off so when he napped today we definitely took advantage and we just like let him nap on the couch and hung out at home but now we're eager to get outside because it's a beautiful California day and I'm trying to get in the fall spirit so we're going to home goods and we're gonna look or I'm gonna look at least at some fall home decor we'll probably also look at clothes what are you looking at at home goods or TJ Maxx I guess I don't know I always like to look at their couches and chairs even though I know we're not gonna buy them I just like furniture. yeah that seems very random when we are not in the market for either one of those I like furniture I don't know. we like looking at their home stuff and are always planning our house in our mind even though we're not quite there yet. So we're gonna look at a bunch of stuff, but first I have some Amazon returns to send back to um, UPS. And I feel like I'm talking about Amazon nonstop, but it's just the order that I placed when I got this dress. I got some other stuff that didn't work out. So I'm going to drop that off at UPS. And then we're picking up Starbucks because Christian's two hour nap kind of put me in a lull where I feel like now I need a little bit of a pick me up and then we'll head to the store. I was gonna say, you said it's more difficult for him with us to nap, but I think he still got his two hour nap, so I don't think it's any different. They just must keep him busy at daycare and let him, like we try to put him to sleep too soon. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Like when it gets to be 11 o'clock or so, we're like, oh, it's nap time, it's time for him to nap, but he hasn't been actively playing and interacting with other kids and being wild at home the same way he is there. So I think that's part of it. I also forgot to mention that I have yet to ask them what they do to put him down for a nap. So I'm one of those people that likes to complain and like not solve the problem. So I don't know if they use like a sound machine or something that we're not using too. So I will dig in and figure it out. I'm not too worried about it, but yeah, that's what we're doing now. How we keep him happy in the store. Banana bread. That's a good shirt. So Home Goods slash TJ Maxx was a little bit of a bust for me at least. Jordan actually found a few things there that he really liked, um, a few clothing items. I didn't find any home decor or any fall decor the way I thought I was going to. I think I'm just late in the game. Like it's already October and I'm just now getting in the fall spirit. And so the decor section for fall was a little bit picked over. It was like a lot of the like loud stuff that's not really my style. But I did find two pairs of shoes. So of course I would go in there for home goods and furniture and fall decor and leave with two pairs of shoes because that's what I do. Sorry, I don't know what my hair is doing right now. Christian was getting antsy in TJ Maxx too, so we are going to get food now. We are all hungry. Hopefully some food will cheer him up. I also learned that that really long line that TJ Maxx always has, you can't exactly do that with a baby. So it was time to get out of the store. We didn't get as much browsing time as we used to back in the day. But we're gonna go get some food and then we'll be back. Are you placing your order? You waving? Hey, let me trade you. Are you gonna fill out your order? What you want? Like Daddy's doing? Good job. I'm doing it too. He's filled out a lot so far. <laughs> You're getting real close, Christian. <laughs> Look. Can you wave the camera? Yeah. Good job. Cheers. 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 
Do you like this song, Bubba? Oh, you like this song? Nothing better than snapping your hands while eating a grilled cheese. Throwing some, fingers. throwing some carrots throwing around. Some food around. This is what happens when we try and give our child vegetables. You like those carrots, dude? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. You're encouraging it. We're just cleaning it up. Whoa. Christian, can you wave? I should have gotten a picture or video of my meal before I started eating it, especially the rest of the table, because now this is what Christian has <laughs> done to our seating area, but this is what I got to eat. It's like a mixed green salad, so this place is a build your own burger bar, and I get a vegan veggie patty on mixed greens, and then I get grilled pineapple, avocado, some cheese, and a couple different sauces to add to. It's so good. It's just terrorizing one table at a time. Okay, this lighting is awful, but that's because it's obviously sunset time. Christian fell asleep in the car on our way home from the restaurant, so we decided to go to the beach. So this is our view. We are just hanging out in the car, watching the water, checking out the sunset. And we're just gonna hang out in the car and get some quiet, peaceful adult time to watch the water and let our little boy sleep a little bit. He's breathing so heavy. Um, Okay, here's our outfits for today. I have on another fitted dress from Amazon. This one you probably will see in some of my videos. Um, it was the same one I was wearing in my Bye Bye Baby video, but I like to do like a bi-weekly pregnancy progression picture. And so since I'm 14 weeks today, we will be taking that picture today and I wanna wear the same dress ugh, every single time. So that's why I have this dress on today, but then I Kind of styled it with this plaid button up that's just from Forever 21. It's kind of old. Bye bye. Christian has on his little gray sweatsuit. So we're both in gray today. He is not in a great mood because once again, he skipped his nap. But yeah, I have this plaid shirt on. And then this hat is from Free People. I just got it and I really like the lighter color. And then I have this outfit paired with these white mules that are from Beachy, super comfy. It's taken me a million tries to show my outfit today with this guy. Wish us luck. All right, so. Sorry. <laughs> no, you can hum your classical music like on the. <laughs> I like that. Okay, it's now the next day and it's difficult for me sometimes to complete an entire vlog in one day. So that is why we are finishing this the next day. Today is Sunday and once again, we are starting our day or like starting it a little bit late. It is 2.30 and we're just heading out to go do some stuff. We don't really know what. We figured we would try and be festive and go check out like a pumpkin patch in the area. Um, we need to get some pumpkins because October is here. Here and in full swing and we don't have any decor. And our neighbors told us the other day that our Christmas decorations from last year were sad because we didn't put any up. So this year we are being festive. Last year we were a little overwhelmed with like a seven month old baby. This year we're getting our shit together for the holidays. So we're headed to like a pumpkin patch. We've never been to this one so I don't know what it will look like. It's at like a mall nearby. Yeah, so it's not like a legit pumpkin patch, but it's like a decent enough festive thing to do. And then we'll probably grab some food while we're out as well. Here's our view. If you can see the ocean, it's so pretty. There's a Halloween store next to that pumpkin patch. 
Christian is not in the mood. We already have our Halloween outfits planned. We get decorations. Halloween outfits. That's how, like, how much I struggle to be festive. I don't even know what they're called, costumes. But we could get decorations there. You already have your costume. What's my costume again? I can't say. I don't want to spoil it. Oh. Here. Yeah. But remember? Shh, be we, cool, baby. Be we cool. We have a good family, family costume plan this year. I get. I don't always get ahead of the game when it comes to decor and stuff like that, but I get into my family costumes for the one year that we've been able to do them. <laughs> so, but year two, we are going strong the with the family time costumes. Our family has been together. <laughs> So we could knock out both the pumpkin patch and the Christmas tree today. This is why I struggle to get into the fall spirit. Palm trees and like 80 something degree weather and the beach. Come on bud. are just taking advantage of this open space where he is locked in and can run around and burn off energy. Something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Bubba, do you want this one? I thought this one was cute. Okay, I'm glad I didn't give it to you. You would have just thrown it down. Is that the pumpkin that you found, Christian? So the plans have been derailed again. We are yet again hiding out in the car because Christian is sleeping in the back. We actually went to Sprouts and got kale and ingredients to make a salad and be healthy and eat at home. And then while Jordan ran into the store, Christian fell asleep in the car. And because he skipped his nap today, we are just like taking advantage. We cannot pass this up. So we are in the in and out drive through and we are going to get in and out my eyebrows are like extra painted on today I feel like but we are going to get in and out and probably eat it in the car until he wakes up and then go back inside and this probably is just aiding in throwing his nap schedule off but at this point we are desperate parents who just need him to be in a better mood the pumpkin patch it was cute we got a couple cute little white pumpkins but he was not in a good mood. So we didn't get a ton of footage there because he was not a happy camper. So hopefully this little nap that he's getting right now will cheer him up and then he'll be good to go for the rest of the day. So fingers crossed. Here is my delicious, healthy meal. Date night in the car. Jordan's. Mine got a grilled cheese cause that's vegetarian. Animal fries, so good and a Diet Coke. We're now back at the beach. So after we had our in and out, Jordan and I came here to watch the water while Christian slept in the car again, the way we did last night. And then once we got to the beach, it's like as we were pulling up, Christian woke up. So we just decided to take him out. We already had the beach chairs in the back of the car. We just decided to take him out and now we're just hanging. We actually got Christian like a little plain hamburger from in and out So we figured we would feed him here at the beach and watch the water and just hang. It's like our favorite, most relaxing thing to do ever. And he really likes the beach as well. He likes playing with all of the stones like this. There are lots and lots of rocks. He likes playing with them. Whoa, dude. stops right at this hill. And then it won't get on us. Yeah. Well, are you sure? This looks like it's gonna come. Oh! See? That's crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, it's silly. It looked like it was going to hit us. Yeah. It's getting a little higher, but it looks like all around it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of like random pieces as we could work things together around Christian's naps and his mood. We actually had a really good weekend. It's just this whole like sleep regression. I'm pretty sure he's hitting his 18 month sleep regression. It is real. So we decided that next weekend we are going to like get up and go early. I think part of our problem is at daycare he stays busy up until nap time. Like he's just on the go and he's socializing and he's so busy. And then here we made the mistake of trying to like binge watch TV until nap time and it just wasn't burning the energy he needed. Now that I'm out of my first trimester and I'm starting to feel some of my energy come back, I'm hoping that I feel much more equipped to like get up and go on the weekend. So so I'll film that too because next weekend we want to get up, get out of the house like super bright and early and keep him really busy and try another go around at the pumpkin patch. This one was weird because it was like set up at the mall and like not super festive. So this coming weekend I would like to get out and do something more festive, more spirited, and then get Christian out to burn some energy so he can finally take a nap with us too. So wish me luck. If you have tips for the 18 month sleep regression, leave them in the comments down below. And then if you're new here, I'd love if you subscribe. That way I could have you back. And like I mentioned, we'll vlog this coming weekend when we go back out and start our day early and see if the naps hit us. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks Brie for collabing with me on this. Be sure to check out her video down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.